In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about consumer surplus and producer surplus. I'm going to talk about price ceilings. I'm going to calculate total benefit before and after a price ceiling. As usual, I'll put price along the vertical axis and quantity along the horizontal axis. I'm going to put in a supply curve and a demand curve. Equilibrium is right there where that dot is, and I'll say that's the price of 8 and quantity of 6. Where did I get 8 and 6? I just made it up for this example. The consumer surplus is the area above price and below the demand curve, or the area outlined there in the yellow triangle. So the blue triangle is consumer surplus. So consumer surplus is the area of the triangle which is one half base times the height. The base is six. So we have one half times six times the height, which is 20 minus eight or 12. That 20 and that eight, 20 minus eight is 12. Six times 12 is 72. One half times 72 is 36. Consumer surplus is 36 in this case, which is the area of the triangle. Producer surplus is the area below the price and above the supply curve, outlined in yellow, or the red triangle. Producer surplus is the red area there. It is 1 half times the base times the height. The base is 6. So I have 1 half times 6 times the height, and the height is also 6. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6, and that 8 there, and that 2 here. So I have 1 half times 36, which is 18. So producer surplus in this case is equal to 18. Again, producer surplus is 18, and consumer surplus is 36. Total benefit is 36 plus 18, which is equal to 54. That's our total benefit, which is consumer surplus plus producer surplus, and that's our total benefit. I'll draw in a price ceiling of $6 right there, so we have a price ceiling. Quantity demanded is 7 and quantity supplied there is 4. So quantity demand is greater than quantity supplied. There is a shortage, and we can calculate that, which is 7 minus 4, which is equal to 3. So we have a shortage of 3 units. Producer surplus shrinks to the new level here. Hopefully it will shrink right there. It's the area below the price and above the supply curve. Since less is consumed, and is consumed at a quantity supply level, and I'll draw in the green line, consumer surplus also changes, and it becomes that triangle plus, plus this rectangle. To calculate consumer surplus, I've got to take the area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle and add those two together. And these two combined are consumer surplus. So the area of the rectangle is the base times the height, when the base is 4, which is that distance here. Let me show you. That's still 4, kind of slowly, but it's 4. It also has a height of 6. So the area becomes 4 times 6. 4 times 6 should be coming in about right now. 4 times 6 which is 24. The area of that part of consumer surplus is 24. The area of the triangle is going to be a base of 4 as well. 4 and a height of oh, a base of 4. Let me just stick with that for now. That right there. That's the base. And a height of 8. 20 minus 12 is 8. So it becomes 4 times 8, 1 half base times height, which is 4 
which is the base, times the height of 8, which is 1 half times 32, and that equates to 16. So the area of the triangle is 16. Consumer surplus is the 16 plus the 24. And this adds up to 40. So consumer surplus is 40. Producer surplus becomes the area of the red triangle, which is still the area below the price and above the supply curve. It's 4 times 4. At 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. So producer surplus becomes 1 half times 4 times 4, or 16. And this equates to 8. So producer surplus is 8. So it becomes total benefit is 40 plus 8 is equal to 48. And this is after price ceiling. Total benefit before is equal to 54. Total benefit after price ceiling is 48. So the dead weight loss is 6. There's a net loss of 6, basically. We call it dead weight lost. And that's that area right there, the gray. I guess that's a triangle. So the area of the triangle is 6. I could have also calculated the area of the two triangles. If I separate it, put a line right there, the area of the top triangle would be 4, and the area of the bottom triangle would be 2, and of course those two added together equal 6. I could have done it that way as well. Either way works. One thing you might want to do is watch this again and compare a consumer surplus before and after, and also producer surplus before and after, and see who are the winners and the losers.